World War 3, the game is broken again. Don't get me wrong, a few days ago the Opa beta launched and it came with a lot of awesome improvements. Such as better movement, it feels much smoother now. The gunplay is smoother as well and to be honest it's maybe one of the best I've seen in the past few years of any FPS game. The gunplay is pretty insane. And overall quality of life changes are made to the game, but the developers forgot about one major issue and this issue has been with the game for quite some time and that's the server issue back in the close beta testing i had to wait on an average of 30 minutes to get into a match and during that time i was only hoping for the open beta so this problem will be fixed and i was so excited for this to be fixed i was hoping that i can press the button record and actually record an awesome video and had a good time however we are literally back to the close beta testing server issue and it's kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie this problem has been in the game for so long and most of us saw it coming from a mile away that the servers are going to blow up when so many new players are going to join on september 29 when the opt got released but i'm still amazed by the fact it's so completely broken and i can't even start up the game let me explain first of all you get into a queue to not overload the servers and guys that is 100 percent understandable once you're through that which takes around four minutes you get the fetching data error and if you've played world war 3 the game you know exactly what i'm talking about it's quite annoying once you're through that error you're thinking by yourself well boys and it's time to start a game well that's that's at least what you're hoping right and i think you can guess what i'm going to say right now well you are not going to play any games quite soon. First, you're in a lobby queue for a random amount of time with some 151 errors. And once again, if you play the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These 151 errors keep popping up, which prevents you from searching for a game. And not only this error keeps popping up, also authenticator error is there, which throws you out of the game completely. We also have random game crashes, which shuts off your game as well. And to be honest, that is the problem I get the most. If I'm trying to record a video, I'm taking about two or three crashes at least before I can actually play and record the game. Oh, and not to forget guys, friend lobby is not working either. It's very, very hard to start a match alone. Imagine how it is to start a game with a friend. I mean, playing with a, with a, with a friend is, is fun and it's necessary for a good game to work. But I just hope they fix those other errors first that we can at least play the game, right? These problems have been in the game for so long I can remember. But I also know that the devs are working extremely hard to fix those issues. And talking about the developers, I want to give them a huge shout out for these new maintenance updates. They actually say what they are going to fix, sort of a patch notes. And they also shared a known issue list. So that is fantastic. I also said in the Discord of World War 3 the game. Thank you to the developers. But I want to say it once again. Thank you boys. It's very much appreciated. But on the other hand, the problems are still here. And it's a very, very crucial moment of the success of this game. And it blows my mind because the success of the OBT literally depends on these major issues. I would rate this game 10 out of 10 if I could actually play the game. Because it's one of the best FPS games I've played recently. And that's not a joke. But I have to say, I didn't play Modern Warfare 2. But I hear mixed feelings about that one as well. Anyways, I'm making this video not to rant about the developers. But to give them some insight where to improve to maximize the potential of this game. Because yes, I want to succeed this game. And also, yes, they can earn a lot of money with this game. But only if it works properly. Anyways, boys, that's it for today. It was a quick video. Thank you for listening. I hope this will get fixed soon so I can start recording some awesome World War 3 The Game uh, stuff for you, boys. And um, let me know in the comment down below what your thoughts are. And I'll see you on the next iLex video, boys. Bye-bye.